A lot that you have to appreciate about Cheshire Phoenix. They defeated the Riders on the opening day of the season, but it was a three-point shield. There's a turnover. Now, can they convert this? They do have numbers. And yeah, probably the spacing wasn't there, but the finish is no problem. And that's what Cheshire like to do. But no, this Riders team have to figure out a way to reconstruct their offense as well, because when you combine all of what they're missing... Oh, and it's Kimball McKenzie! Left hand drive, takes the contact and finishes. We did. McKenzie spent his time playing in the CBL with the Niagara River Lions, but the three, the three is up, no good. And I gotta tell you, the one player I've been very impressed with, of course, is LaQuincy Rodolphus, the three, it's up, no good. Has been Skylar White, you saw his exit from the Surrey School just back in 2021, but he looks like a new player this year. As McKenzie, well, oh, it's Cheshire Phoenix six, Kimball McKenzie six at the moment. Mismatch problem, but on that occasion, he's got a, a bigger, stronger defender in Walker guarding him there, which made it difficult for him. Charlo getting ready for the double team, but in the end, it costs them. It's probably a challenge. He's not used to coaching this team, of course. No, it's a, a brand new challenge, but as you say, Josh is experienced definitely in the favor. Oh, good play there. Samuel Dillon, he was a dominant player in Division One last year, and it's just a bit of seamless transition for. Oh, oh my. Penetrating isolate, just taking out a right back to score. Not much fluidity at the moment with the offense, a little bit. Start stopping and. Oh, oh, Quincy Rideau. The opposition out of his zone, essentially, but it's also not being so passive where you, you don't do. It just needs to be the virtue for both these two teams, but another turnover now. Riders have numbers. Well, Holmes is going to go himself. Had numbers, but no problem. This guy is possessed in transition, but look how quickly goes up. Oh my goodness! Big man, the Scouser, goes in and rips the ring down. Well, Bowman trying to isolate, goes up, gets the hand one at the moment. Where is the defense? Who cares? Want to watch to now the veteran superhero for the Riders for many years. Well, fakes it, goes in and around, goes in with a bit of magic. Whoa, is that TJ Law, George Kerving in a lesser Riders jersey? But now the Phoenix, oh my goodness, that would have been asking for too much, Parcel fans. But at the moment, it is the Riders who lead this one at the end of the first quarter. Excellent job of attacking the heart of that defense. Well, it was a tough move by TJ Law with the penetration in and around. They go for a deep three. Three is up. What can the Riders get out of this one? No baseline goes oh up. My. Oh my goodness! Good defense by Mo Walker. Let's keep this one alive. Time winding down here. That's gonna be a long two-pointer. Shot is up. Oh, was that a three-pointer actually? Locked in the 33 apiece, but look at this. Under pressure, nowhere to go. Step back. Huge three-pointer right in the face. Ordinarily, Mo Walker as well is used to guarding guys in and around the rim close to the, in the key. Going in the lane, strong move there by the big man, Mo Walker. And, you know, one thing I've been very impressed so far with Mo Walker. Walker, Holmes, Russell, Thomas, and McKenzie on the floor for the Riders. Kimball pump fakes. Goes down low, it gets rejected. Well, oh, access denied inside the paint. Then just fade into the abyss, but this Riders team has been there and thereabouts, challenging for titles every single year since those since that uh, 2012 season. Well, again, if the Phoenix is going to win this game, one thing they got to credit themselves for has been their offensive rebounding. 15 points, five assists, five rebounds. Oh, kicks out, finds TJ Law. He's made one three, makes another one, and it's just end-to-end -end action. These two teams exchanging. Hesitates, puts up a little prayer, and again, no problem for LaQuincy Redone. That looked a lot harder than it was. Maceo Jack, just phenomenal scorer. Oh, again, I mean, I've asked this question already. Where's the defense? We're still the second chance points going in favor of the Phoenix. Bulls made two threes, goes for another one. This guy's unconscious, and he's not missing anytime soon. Well, the Phoenix has definitely gone a bit cold, but now they need to rely on their defensive instincts. Thomas steps back, and again, are you kidding me? Nobody's missed a three-pointer for the Riders. Still with two and a half to go here in the third quarter. Seven-point lead to the Riders. Bulls got 19, four threes, make it five. Somebody get the barrel of water out. This guy. Riders currently on a 6-0 run. Can this be extended to eight? Yes, it can. It's so now a 13-point ball game. 
Uh, Cheshire Phoenix winning both of those. The first one in particular was such a dominant performance from the Phoenix. Well, Jack Hudson making a penetration again, cutting down the 8-0 run. Over a minute to go here in the third quarter. Riders have been dominant so far. Kenzie crossing over, goes this. Sweet little finger roll. Kimball just going to work. Leading by 13. Kimball pulls up, deep three, can't get it. Another offensive ball, Washington gets rejected. Well, the man who makes his trade as a lawyer, Jack Hudson, just gave a little bit of legal advice in Washington. Again, just to put that into context, this is the team that averaged 90 points per game. Final seconds here on the shot clock. Kimball pulls up, deep three, can't get it. Phoenix come up with a rebound. Jack going in for a year step. Goes up, connects with it. Just popped his ankle, but he's going to the free throw line here for the three-point play. He's a, he's a long guard, six foot five, athletic. Don't go for a tough turn around the post up under intense pressure. I'm not sure any better defense could have been played, but again, a good finish. Bowman looking to Wisely. Good hands. And Cheshire gets something quick. Tries to go himself, finishing off the backboard. The big man going coast to coast. Bowman posting up. Turning around. Probably had it on the first one. Didn't need to stop there. Agreed. But yeah, agreed. Good defense from TJ Love. Jared Holmes, Holmes down the middle, little teardrop, a nice little composed move by Jared Holmes. Similar display of the the ball and the horse, I guess. Well, nice little play, Shagwa going in and finishing. Tough play. Could we see it tonight? Maybe, possibly. Goes back door, and all of a sudden now three-point ball game. The rebound for Rideau gets him closer to that triple double. There's a deep frame. Roll locked in at 79 apiece. My goodness gracious, possible fan. Riders going back into the 2-3 zone. Well, they haven't had the lead since the first half, and Aaron Ryan goes up. Count it! And he's going to the free throw line. Kimball McKenzie, TJ Lowell, Jaron Holmes on the floor. Myron Thomas, I think that's the last option I'm trying to go for. And Chagua uses his size and has less as him inside. What a great leading pass. Three would give him a chance. Kimbluff one screen. There it is. Pulls up. Got it. It's a two-pointer. 